Uh, before I let you go, James Spader, mm -hmm. how's it working with him? I mean, it's amazing. I mean, that's where I think, um, I mean, of course, black men in Harlem, I think I could go toe to toe with anybody. But I, I, I definitely say after spending eight seasons working with him, seeing how he works, see how, seeing how particular he is, seeing the work he puts into um, everything, it, it's given me the courage, it's given me the um, belief that um, I, I really think that I can step on stage with anybody now just from um, rocking with him because he's a he's an intense <laughs> and uh, powerful actor. So um, um, I think I'm really ready right now. So I mean, it's been a it's really been a blessing um, just to sit back and watch him work. It's almost like being in class again. So um, I'm you know I'm taking everything, put it in my pocket and uh, carrying it with me whenever I, I, I take on another project. You spoke so highly of your father throughout this interview. I know you're a father. Mm. What type of father are you? What type of father am I? Wow, that's, you know, it's interesting because I, I had my first son at, uh, uh, in 98, so he's 22 right now. And I just had another son uh, who's three months. So I've been looking at just the journey of Hisham Taufik and who I was at 28 and who I am at 51. Um, I think when I was younger, um, because the, I would say the biggest growth for me uh, is probably emotionally. Mm -hmm. So younger, I think I gave my son everything uh, I spent a lot of time with him because I was off for the fire department a lot. So I, like, like I said, I would go to him and says, I went to his pre-K school. I think I went to Sesame Place 10 times on the bus as a volunteer. Um, took him camping, took him to DR. Um, me and me, my son and I, we had a, we had a special bond, but at the same time, you know, when I got divorced, a lot of it became materialistic, you know, video games and money and, um, even though I took him to Ghana for his 21st birthday. Um, now looking at the son I have now, there's just a whole different type of emotional growth that I have. So it's gonna be interesting just using those tools to, to raise a son now. Um, I'm not saying I can't use those tools with my first son, but you know, that, that window is closed where they become their own man now. So, um, they're not too open to uh, 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 a new emotional being when I've helped create this different emotional being that was like me back then. Mm -hmm. um, that makes sense. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a hands-on dad. I like to be involved. I'm very spiritual um, in naming my sons. I'm very spiritual. Um, and, 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 and trying not to impose my beliefs on them. Um, I don't think that works anymore. Like what my father did with me, you have too many distractions, social media, and it's just a whole different world. Like now, you, and one thing I learned is, you, you know, I can't raise my kids like my father wrote, raised me. It's a different world. You have to use different tactics and different things. There's different hurdles. Um, but I have to be careful too with putting my anxiety, my angst, and, and, and being preachy, preachy. Um, you know, with my new son as I was with my old, my, my firstborn. So I'm, you know, I'm a dad that's that's there. You know, I'm always going to be there. I'm always going to support. I'm going to try to help you pursue any dream you want, um, maybe to a fault. Um, but um, I'm still growing and learning. But I would say now I'm I'm just much more of a emotionally connected being which helps me be more connected to my children what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love make every move a power move and i'll catch you all on the next video